What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th Ionic tutorial in which we'll be adding an infinite scroll feature to our news application which we are building so far and uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna implement something known as an ion infinite scroll directive right there and what it would do is basically it would allow us for example this is if this is our application then when I go down right there then it would automatically load more news content from you know the older news automatically without you know just requiring user to clicking to click any button or something like that so what I'm gonna do is copy this thing right here the ion infinite scroll and right here just before this ion content I'm gonna paste this and right here it says that on infinite load more is the callback and that means that the user when the user is about to hit the down down the most you know the base of the page you can say so this function would be fired so let's just go ahead and create this load more and uh, what you can do is actually just copy this load more from here only so that it just saves us a bunch of seconds now what I want to do is actually that whenever there's a load more function call I want to make I want to actually load some more articles so I'm gonna call this thing right here but we require a parameter and uh, that parameter would be passed in as I guess there's a params object here and uh, this is actually object itself so this would be parameter parameters something like that and I'm gonna create a var parameters as an object and I'm gonna say this has an ID of um, and the ID I guess we are not storing and yeah one more thing I want to mention right here is that actually if I just view the console right here and if I just console log console log scope dot news and actually just below this line you can see that we get an object inside the scope dot news well that's not what I actually wanted this application to have as you can see my intent was to create this as an array well you can say that objects are arrays are objects well we know that in JavaScript but you know some methods like push won't work with objects very well and uh, <clears throat> for our this application what I want is that when I make use of this ion infinite scroll then I want to push the new articles to the scope dot news array so that I don't have to just you know just apply or make use of any sort of uh, angular uh, digest cycles or something like that so what I'm gonna do is that convert this object into an array while with the help of this angular dot for each now this angular dot for each loop would actually just accept this as a news data dot data this whole data and inside this function it would throw a single element at a time so I can safely say that this is a single news article which just contains all the information like name and title image link and all that stuff right there and I'm gonna get rid of this and news article is just simply and probably this should be dot push so here we go now as you can see right here we get a simple little object instead of that uh, sorry a simple little array I should say rather instead of that object so let's just remove that as well okay so now we have the reference error as use items is not defined well I don't need it either so what I'm gonna do and yeah one more thing we have to do is that set a scope dot news or pretty much like scope dot news dot last ID last let's just say last article ID equals news data data here dot data dot last ID I guess I named it last ID only 
so if I can just console log this to verify whether this works or not before just going off with the application yeah it pretty much works so let's just comment that out as well all right now we have got the last article ID inside our scope dot news whatever this is so we can just make use of that right here inside this ID parameter so I'm gonna say this thing right there all right so now our request is ready and uh, what the scope dot broadcast pretty much means is that it's gonna send the event down the children right there so if you have like a module set to this ng app uh, this ng controller is news controller then it would just broadcast this message that the scroll dot infinite scroll is completed to all the ionic things and stuff so that ionic can just keep care keep you know the stuff organized what happens when the ionic infinite scroll is complete like remove that removing that loading icon and pretty much adjusting some sort of css or html you know you get the idea so all right so we are pretty much done here what i want next is just simply i want to do a couple of things right here i want to say scope dot news dot last article id is um, or actually rather we can just get rid of this at all so I'm just gonna make use of the, the last article ID so I just pollute that thing so I'm gonna say last article ID would be uh, what we are returning here as items so this would be items dot last ID and hit enter okay so now we have updated the id so that when the user again scroll down a little bit so that the user sees some older post instead of just loading the same post again the final thing i need to do is actually just keep it right here and say again angular dot for each function no not a function items dot data function as an item and I want again to just scope dot news dot push item okay pretty much we are done here so fingers crossed and let's check out our application so down 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 we go and okay so it doesn't pretty much looks like it's working it's just making some sort of ajax request but if i just go to uh, the header section and just visit this page right here maybe i'm missing a thing or something yeah i guess we don't have any sort of data here so probably i don't need this at all so if i just reload this again and check this out down 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 we go and as you can see we have successfully loaded some more news articles down there and the reason why images are not loaded is probably my bad internet connection because the links are working fine and you can see that the images should probably load a little bit later on but they load so as you can see we have implemented a nice little infinite scroll sort of system and uh, right now I have some downloads going on in progress so my internet is sort of a bit slower right now so that is why the news is not loading that much quicker but if you try it out at your own end then I'm pretty much sure that the news would load uh, faster now one problem I have seen while scrolling is that we get some sort of blank articles this one right there and I have no idea what this actually is so let's just take a look why we get this so often I guess I got one again uh, right there so looks like um, okay I guess that angular is making use of this last id as well so we need to somehow tell angular that uh, do not just show 
uh, ng if news article dot title is there like obviously the that last ID doesn't have a sort of title associated with it so that did the trick and uh, in the console we are getting a lot and a lot a lot of errors so it says there's duplicates not allowed so what we can do is just go ahead and track by what you can do is news article dot um, do we have a sort of unique ID for every article no not really we have the ID associated for a bunch of articles so I'm gonna go ahead with the index one only so right here if I just scroll down 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 a little a little bit more and about to reach the bottom you can see that more news are loaded automatically which is sort of cool stuff so here we go some more news for us and then again down 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 we go so this is sort of a cool application which we have developed in ionic with infinite loading as well so you can just change this distance to 5 or 10 so that it just loads a bit quicker and yeah so i'm gonna end this tutorial pretty much here and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching and probably in the next tutorial we'll be covering something cool with this application so stick with me and again if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching